What's up everyone? So uh, we're inside the garage today because it's raining outside, which is a rarity out here. Believe me, it's rare that it rains out here. Uh, but we're going to work on the drawer today and I'm going to show you my method of putting in tool tools in the Jeep. And I think it's probably the coolest method I have ever seen in a Wrangler. Uh, so let's take a look at it and I'll show you what we're doing and I'll show you how to do it. Let's get down to it. Come on. Right, so here we are. We are working on the drawer today, and as you can see, I started shadowing this out. So, first of all, a few things you need. You need something to cut the foam. I have been using a soldering iron. Uh, it works quite well, it's a little slow, but the more powerful soldering iron you get, the, bet the faster this is going to be. And uh, what I've done here is I've cut each thing a little, uh, I've burned each hole or slot a little tight so that these can't come out. Uh, as you saw, they're pretty tight in there because I threw that. Uh, but they have a good grip, which is what you want. You don't want these being able to move. So we have all kinds of sockets here. These are tools, uh, sockets and wrenches and everything. These are tools that I use to uh, work on my vehicle. And let me just say, so far that I've had this, this is perfect. You need to tighten a bolt up. You pull this drawer out, come in, grab what you need, tighten the thing up put the thing back in here and close it and away you go it's it's fantastic but what we're gonna do today is we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do what we're doing here I've got a few more things to put in here uh, and uh, we're going to uh, get those done so let's uh, get set up here uh, I need to get my soldering iron out and everything uh, let's get those out I've got a few things traced to get the other parts out uh, like I want this bar in right about here I think uh, so we'll have that go there. Now the other thing we need to pay attention to is the foam. You can get whatever foam you want. You can special order it offline. You can buy toolbox foam. You can do all that stuff. Uh, I went cheaper. What I did is I went to Harbor Freight and I bought one. Just one packet of their foam for garage floors. That's why this is, uh, got these little, I don't know, nubs here to connect each other. These little whatever they're called and all I've done is I connected it together and then I cut around the holes and I just uh, cut it down to fit so one packet gives you two layers deep and I just took the layer over here out to make a little trough for these to sit in and I'm probably going to actually cut these away so that this piece fits more flat in there but it actually works great just like this um, so the Harbor Freight foam I think it's 10 bucks for the packet of it and it works great. I didn't think it would work, so I tried it out to see if it would work, but it works fantastic, and I see, um, I don't see any issues with it. So there's that. Uh, so let's get the stuff out, and uh, we'll start getting to cut it up. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're going to work on getting uh, this tool in, and then we'll work on getting that tool in. So what I do here is I come around here, I grab a uh, utility knife of some sort, and I just trace it lightly. It doesn't take a whole lot of pressure uh, with this foam. Now I already traced this one. You may not be able to see this on camera, but there actually is a faint line here. And you can see it, um, you can actually see it when you're looking with your eyes. Let's see if we can zoom you in here, you might be able to. See the line right there? You can barely make it out. But you can see it all the way around, it makes the shape of the tool. So that's the line we're going to follow. Uh, sometimes, if I can't really see it that well, what I do is I come in here and make them a little bit more pronounced. But that should be pretty good. That's right where it goes. So I've used two types of soldering guns. I've used low wattage and high wattage. High wattage definitely works a lot better. Currently I'm using this guy. And uh, this one seems to work fantastic for this. It gets very hot, very fast. It's not instant on, but very close. You pull the trigger to there, that's low, and you give it six seconds and it'll heat up. Um, you let one more click out like that, and then that gives you uh, full wattage. And this one is so hot that uh, just on the low setting, it's perfect. So 
what we do is we come in here, get it, get it going, and what I like to do is I actually don't cut on the line, I cut inside the line uh, to make sure and keep these tight, and then I come back and trim excess what I need to make it fit. So well, we'll start down here, so we just kind of give it a few seconds and then come in. We got one done, and we just keep coming in here and cutting. Give it a second to heat up. There we go. The beauty is, too, you can cut how shallow or how deep you need it. it just depends on how big the tool is, I find. If the tool is bigger, cut deeper. If the tool is tinier, just cut shallower. Let's see. All right, perfect. That's how I want it, nice and tight, just like that. And to get it out, you just push one corner and out she comes. And like I said, we'll stick super glue under this and glue that down so uh, it doesn't come up. Let's see. Oh, it just goes in there nice and tight. Not gonna come out, not gonna wiggle. Okay, let's do uh, one last one that I have and then I think that'll be it. Okay, so last tool to do. I think we're gonna put this one right here and get it all nice and lined up. And you actually can get this fairly close with this foam. And it's okay, you just need to be mindful when you're um, cutting it with a soldering iron or wherever you're cutting it with that you do a clean job when you get close. See, I think you can see the line better on this one going up. So that's the marks we're gonna follow on the inside of. So let's, uh, let's grab our gun again and let's go back at it. So there it is. These are the tools I have for now. Now, of course, I can always go back and add more, which is the beauty of this system. You put in what you have, and then you adjust to what you need, which is great. Um, and you know, if you ever messed up on this stuff, this foam is cheap, so you just go get more. Um, I did go ahead and cut these back so I could fit this one in there a little bit better while I was at it, which makes this nice. And yeah, technically, you know, you could find a spot for each one of these. Um, which would be nice. These right here like this just perfectly, they don't move, which is really good. 
All right, guys, so there you have it. Drawer's finished, everything is installed. Now, uh, the beauty of this system with the shadowing and the foam is that if you don't like it, you can take it out and create something else. Uh, or the other thing you can do is you can add to it as you go, or you can always put new foam in it and change things up if you don't like it. Uh, that's the really awesome thing about this system. It's not permanent, and it's completely moldable to your configuration and what you need. Uh, so this is the way I have it set up, and it works out well for me so far. If I need to change it up in the future, it's another $10 in a whole packet of foam in order to do that. Um, now, it does take some time, and I recommend getting yourself a pretty powerful um, soldering gun if you're going to do this but uh, you don't have to use a soldering gun i imagine a wood burner would probably be even faster and better at this uh, but uh, a good powerful soldering gun also works anyway guys if you have any questions hit the comments down below if you like the video give me a big thumbs up and uh, if you like what's going on, on the channel hit subscribe and touch the bell for more videos like this there'll be more coming up i hope you enjoyed this thank you for watching you guys have a wonderful day bye